Hello everyone, today is day 30 of my 31 days of Halloween and today I am going to be getting straight into the makeup and taking some masking tape. We're going all the way back to how I first ever started doing makeup by using masking tape and we are going to be flattening out our nose. So I'm just, as you can see, using the masking tape to try and round off my face a little and you can stuff some tissue or cotton wool underneath there to help give it some support which I should have done but I didn't but that will really help build it up. Then took some tissue and ripped it up into some slightly big squares and some liquid latex on a sponge and I'm just coating all of that in some tissue and latex to make it smooth and one solid texture and to give it some strength and yeah to completely coat it all. So last year I did this makeup on my friend but I never did a tutorial for it However, this is what it looks like and I have had a couple of requests on how to do a smiler makeup and I just thought this would be the perfect time to do it at Halloween where you could use it for your Halloween makeup, so yeah. Once that was complete, it should look something like this and then whilst that is drying, we are going to start working on the lip part of our face. So I'm taking some masking tape and I'm folding a quarter of it over onto itself so a quarter of it won't be sticky and then half of it will be if that didn't make sense hopefully this will so where you can see the darkest part is that's where it's not going to be sticky and then the more lighter toned one will be the sticky part so it should look something like this hopefully that made sense to you so now we will be able to apply this as the mouth so I've trimmed it down a little bit and in the non sticky part I've had facing down in line with my top lip and then the bits that I've cut off I have angled them to kind of look like a smile as you can see here and then once all of that is stuck down I then took some tissue and latex and we're going to be creating that same one textured piece and a seamless blend between masking tape to the like kind of nose area hopefully that made sense to you and if it didn't you can kind of pick up on it as we go along hopefully it will though now taking some scissors be very very careful by using scissors by your face and mouth especially and I'm just using these to trim the edges to make it more round because of having that kind of sharp corner from applying two straight pieces of masking tape. I'm just rounding it off so it's a nice smile. Then we're going to repeat all of these processes with the bottom lip, creating that same folded over piece of masking tape using tissue and latex to blend it out and then trimming it in any way that needs trimming to make it nice and curved. And you should look something like this. A little bit weird, but it'll all come together eventually. <laughs> Then I'm connecting the ends together using some latex and tissue right on the end of the smile and applying some latex and tissue around the rest of my chin and jaw area to make it all blend and look like my whole face is made out of this material. Then using that same technique of folding over the masking tape I'm then making two strips for each eye. However, before applying them, I should have put latex down like I have here because it will help hold it. So I'm applying them two strips over my eye, trying to get them as straight as possible and you kind of want to angle them so you can see straight ahead. I do have to say this cuts out a lot of vision so be careful when doing this makeup and wearing it out on Halloween if you do so because you don't have as much vision as you do. You only have straight on vision, you can't see from the sides if you know what I mean. So you have to look like straight on for everything you do. Then I'm using some more masking tape just to hold them edges down and then I'm applying one further piece of masking tape to connect it to my nose so it should look something like this and then I'm taking some latex and tissue and I'm going to be blending all of that out again and giving it that strength and support that it needs and it should look a little bit like this then we're just going to finish it up by putting another piece of masking tape down to finish off that one eye again using tissue and latex just to blend it all out and I'm connecting my mouthpiece to my eyes with some more tissue and latex around on my actual skin just to make it all blend and flow nicely and then I'm going to repeat this on my other eye and now I look like this. So as you can see, or at least as you could imagine, my vision is cut down a lot so all of this that I do now is kind of like winging it so you might need to get someone to help you here if you can't see too well. However, I'm just going to be taking a foundation to match my skin and I'm going to be packing that on 
all over my face then I'm going to be blending it or like using a beauty blender or whatever you've got once that was done I'm then using a darker shade of foundation and putting this around the eyes around my forehead around the mouth and my jawline and then I'm highlighting on my forehead and where my nose would be and a little bit on my chin and underneath my cheekbone contour kind of area then I'm setting all of that with a powder and I'm going to be brushing all of that off. This will just stop the makeup transferring onto anything that you touch. And then once that's complete, I'm taking a fluffy brush and some black eyeshadows. And we're going to start doing a sort of contour down where my eyes are, around my jawline, my forehead, and over my mouth. Then I'm taking a black water activated face paint and filling in my mouth like so. And I'm going to be smudging it on the around areas a little bit also, just to kind of give it that messy tone using my finger to make it more smudged and then I'm filling in my eyes. You could do this before you apply the actual eye pieces but I'm stupid and I did it after however it wasn't too difficult. You just might need to get someone to touch up anywhere that you can't see that skin is on show. Then smudging it all going around my whole face basically to make it look more like a mask using that black face paint and then I'm going ahead with the blood putting this in my mouth and a little bit on the slits of my eyes and bringing it down onto my chin blending it out and making it a bit more smudged to give it kind of a gory creepy essence to it and BAM we are finished for the Smiler 30th day of October makeup. This is my 30th makeup of my 31 days of Halloween. I hope you love this makeup. I love it. I am so glad I recreated it. I've changed it up a little bit and it looks a lot better this time around. And yeah, you could apply a ball cap, but I wanted my smiley to have hair. I wanted it to have something different than what most people do. And yeah, all you need to complete this look is whatever costume you like, preferably black I'd say, and then just a fake knife with some blood on it. Mine's real, but I'm not leaving the house, so why not? Just be careful and do not use a real knife because that's that's not very safe and it's a bit silly. And make sure it's fake blood on there, not real blood. So if you like this makeup, guys, please like, share, subscribe, do all of that stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow for 30 first of October. Like it's the 31st of October. Tomorrow is friggin' Halloween, guys. Are you even ready? Something amazing is coming. Goodbye.